Hey folks, Mark with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining us today. It is rainy. You can hear the rain on the roof. Uh, somehow we developed a leak in the roof by the wood stove and you'll hear an occasional as the, uh, <laughs> as the water falls down. Hey, it's been a long time. Uh, my son Eli actually encouraged Bob and I to, hey, start turning on the camera and start filming some stuff. Um, obviously ammo is short, guns and are short, and uh, I'm doing other stuff right now because of that. And one of them is building a power station. I've been fascinated by solar and, and uh, off-grid power uh, stuff for a while. So uh, stick around and I'm gonna tell you the details of what we're doing and why. So I am building a cargo trailer conversion. Uh, my camper that went in the back of my pickup uh, got a case of the dry rot and so I looked for an alternate thing. So I, I uh, bought a, a cargo trailer and I camped during elk season during that and I really liked the, the concept. So I bought a larger one and I'm making that into a toy hauler so I can take the Zook or a little baby jumbo in that and go places. Uh, I've been thinking about a cabin, but instead of buying a cabin, uh, I'm just going to build a cabin that I can take to whatever lake or wherever I want. And so part of that is boondocking because I live out in the sticks and I want to go camping. I, I don't want to be around more people than I am at my house because that would be stupid. So uh, that brought me into solar and solar is kind of a, it's kind of like the ammo situation right now. So if we're look, if we have things that consume electricity, like everything, then we need a way to power that. So we can either uh, use a generator or we can use solar or wind or hydroelectric. Uh, Right now, solar is the only uh, really good option for boondocking, and that's what that's what brings us here. We can't you can't shoot your your firearms right now because you don't have any ammo. Well, what happens to your generator if you don't have any fuel? So, uh, so I've been fascinated by the solar deal, and what I'm going to do is build a, a power station. I purchased this little one right here, and just as a proof of concept to see how that worked. Just a little Rock Pals uh, 300 watt unit. And and I just decided that this was this was kind of a really cool way to do that. I got some, some solar panels to recharge it. Uh, when there is power available, I can recharge it from the wall or my vehicle. And then uh, you just have a silent power source for a good while. Well, I needed something bigger because my two main loads that I'm looking to do would be when I'm when I'm on the road and we're we're boondocking, then I want to be able to power uh, refrigeration so you can keep your beverages and your and your meat and your food cold. And uh, and the other thing is is when the power goes out here, I want to be able to run my well pump so I have water. So this is kind of a twofold thing, and I wanted it to be uh, rechargeable without having to go to town. So uh, I, I do have generators and that's a good option, but I wanted, I wanted a silent option that I didn't need to buy uh, ammunition and or fuel for. So this is a little 300 watt. What we're doing right now with this one is it's going to be 2400 watts. And the math behind that is written on a piece of paper that uh, I put right here. So just, this is the boring part, but this is the part that you need to do if you're thinking that you, you wanna go there. You gotta figure out what your loads are. So I bought a, an Apicool T50 uh, refrigerator freezer for my cargo trailer, and that thing pulls 45 watts. When it's running, figure about a 33% duty cycle. So it runs about a third of the time. So that, is 14.85 watt hours so you need to figure out what the watt hours of your loads are and then figure out what your capacity is so since i have 100 amp hour batteries times 12 each one of these is uh 1200 uh watt hours for a total of 2400 watt hours 
So that's my tank. That's how big it is. I got 2,400 watt hours. These are lithium ion batteries and I can use all of those 2,400 watt hours. If we were using the lead acid battery, then we could only use like 80% of the advertised watt hours. So that's one of the reasons we went with the expensive lithium. So if I do the math, 14.85 watt hours, I have 2,400 watt hours available. If I wasn't plugged in and I just ran my fridge off of this, it would run for 161 hours. And that's 6.73 days. So I can run my fridge for about a week without recharging with this box that I'm gonna build. That's kind of the goal here. If I look at my well, uh, my well pulls 6.03 amps. So we'll just say six amps. Uh, that's at 240 volts. Uh, it's, that means it's gonna pull 12 amps at 120 volts which comes up to about 1447 watt hours now I, I am going to have to put a buck and boost 120 to 240 volt conversion uh transformer to do that but what this basically breaks down to is that i can refill my water tank my 40 gallon tank that takes about six minutes to fill i can refill that about 12 times off of this without recharging it. So uh, I don't know what my usage actually is of water, but I know that when the power goes out, then um, if it's brown, flush it down or maybe let it simmer. You know, you can stretch water out a long time. So uh, I think that uh, this is gonna last a long time. Uh, 12 fills, if you just refilled that every other day, then that would be a couple of weeks. So uh, that's the goals. That's what I'm doing here. You got shitter, you got cold beer. <laughs> that's, that's right. So I can, I think, I think I should be able to go uh, for a significant amount of time. Now, so I also bought uh, four 100 watt Rock, Rock Pals solar panels. And uh, so that would be 400 watts. And I'm going to assume a 50% efficiency rate. I'm only going to get... Uh, 50 watts each out of those during the daylight hours and we're going to assume an eight hour sun exposure so that gives us 1600 watt hours of power that we can put back into these batteries uh, every day so that works out by the time i do the do the math and and i can run the fridge and i just use half of a tank of water every day then I only use 1,079 watt hours. So I can put 1,600 watt hours from the sun into it. So that kind of makes, that kind of gets into that, that infinite range. I can do those two main things um, forever. You know, some days I might have more solar, some days I might have less. So that's kind of the concept. So I got some batteries, I got an inverter, I got a bunch of other components and I'm just gonna assemble that into this, this free box that I got. This was actually a box that handled, a, of all things, a sewer camera. Um, so this was the electronic section for, for the, the camera that scoped uh, sewer lines. And, you know, my dad got it somehow. I thought the box was cool. And I and I, I wiped all the poop off it, so it's all good. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna work on putting all of this stuff into here, and maybe make something cool. Now there are commercially available products for this. Um, there is the the Blue Eddy. I think it's the AC two hundred makes one. Um, Zero Breeze just did a, a, a twenty four hundred watt. In fact, I got in on that, but I'm waiting for it. So they made a, they're making a power station. The, um, there's pros and cons. I kind of wanted to do this because I, but since I'm assembling this from components that I bought individually, if anything, any individual component goes out or breaks and I can still replace that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to disassemble a blue Eddy, um, that, that costs 1500 bucks. I'm going to have to send that back, you know, whereas I could, I could cob in a different inverter or a charger or a battery or plugs or interfaces. I can fix this. And so there's, there's the thing. This is probably going to cost me more. I know it's going to cost me more in the end. And it's going to look like a cobbed up homemade thing. 
but that's that's fine that's what we're doing so well all right well that video was kind of long just kind of an introduction deal um we're going to go ahead and end that segment and the next segment that we're going to have the next video is going to be talking about the battleborn batteries that we're putting in and uh and why we got to modify them and how that works so stay tuned to the next video on the battery part hey everybody please like and subscribe